Alright, hey, Hades Omega here, and welcome to another Hades Omega Toyota RAV4 Prime video. Alright, uh, today we're going to be, uh, I'm going to, I had a show and tell video on a part that I bought from Car Trim Home for a while, like a while ago, and I totally forgot I had it. They're hatch, uh, hatch lid LEDs, alright, they're, they're LED lights for your hatch, alright, so, to, so you can have more light in the back of your RAV4 Prime, alright be great for like camping or yeah if you need to do anything in the back of the vehicle um, it would be nice to have uh, these lights all right so that's why I bought them I just never got around to installing them until now so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do so let's take a closer look at this um, I got this at car trim home I will put a link in the description of the video where you can purchase these all right I believe they have them in, in at their US warehouse is what they say so you can get them pretty fast all right um, and there were currently they're forty dollars. I bought it for forty dollars, and a year later it's still forty bucks. So you can get it for forty bucks. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna do an unboxing real quick. I right, have to show you what we got inside, and then uh, I will try to install it. There is an install video on the uh, on the website, so I'm not gonna go into very much detail on the how to install it. I'm just gonna kind of do it, take some pictures and video along the way, and know show you how it is so uh, Hades and I kind of didn't want to do this because it's does a lot it's a lot of wiring and stuff so okay anyway here's the box here's what's inside so here's one of the LED lights pretty cool all right there's the other one they're like a smoke color so you can't you can't really notice they're in your trunk it's pretty nice okay it's supposed to have like a touch a touch sensitive uh, button okay so so you don't I guess inadvertently press it or something I'm not really sure how it works when I get it installed I guess we'll find out so <laughs> okay and here's all the wiring lots of wiring guys so uh, there is um, there's two wiring harnesses. it's pretty simple it's just two lights and two wiring harnesses all right um, I believe Oh wow, there's two of them. There's a there's one that says HY01A and HY01E. Okay, um, one of them. So the way it works is it wires to the the rear hatch light that's inside inside your trunk. All right, the trunk area, and it plugs into that. It uses the power source for that. Okay, and it will still function the same. Right, oh, what's this? This is an extra connector or something. Okay. So this looks like... This looks like the extension cord. This is the cord that connects to the uh, the light, alright? So it has a... Oh! Maybe it's already... Oh, I see. So this is a... They took the pins out so you can fish it through the... The hole easier all right so in the in the in the video i watched they broke this wire all right so um so i guess they give it to you not in there so it's easier to fish through i guess i don't know maybe that or they forgot to put it in i'm not sure um yeah okay so there's a there's a loose connector and I, i'd imagine these pins are supposed to go in here all right but i guess they don't they don't put it in here <laughs> they don't they don't put it inside the connector so you can fish it through the 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 openings and stuff all right the conduits uh more easily all right so i guess we're gonna have to put that in later um, i guess you're just gonna have to match the yeah you're gonna have to match the wiring up to the other one when you put this in and i i bet you just uh it just clicks in the place so you just want to install this how like the other one is all right well, when we get there we'll put it in all right? i think that's i think that's the reasoning why this clip isn't in here that or they just forgot to put it in <laughs> one of the two all right they didn't want you to break that okay and then here's the other wiring harness okay this is the e one and i believe this is the one that connects it branches off from the from this one and it connects to the lights okay so lots of wiring okay guys so i guess the first thing we should do is probably hook this up to the um to the light all right uh, i'll kind of go over 
it as I go along, but there's another install video for this. Um, if you go to their web, if you go to the web page where you buy this, the the that video is on there. Okay, that YouTube video. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Hope it doesn't take too long. Okay, I apologize for uh, if you guys can't see so well because <laughs> I have to turn the brightness all the way up. Um, so the LED lights they go right here, and there's there's two little square access panels. All right, I guess they're to get to the uh, the tail lights, I guess. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so to open those little access panels, there's a little um, there's a little opening there, so you can put a tool, a screwdriver or something, a trim tool, and we're gonna pry it open. Okay. All right, there you go. There's one. plastic trim tool if you got one. All right, this one is a little too big for this one, but I got it in there. <laughs> There's the other one and you won't be putting them back, okay? And if you're wondering what's behind them, yes, it is the where you can access the bulbs for the tail light. All right, only one of them. <laughs> That's the interesting thing. Oh, there's two. There's another one over there, okay. Okay, so that's where the lights install. Okay. Okay, the next thing you gotta do is you gotta take these trim pieces off, all right? This center and the two side ones here, okay? So I'm just sticking my hand back there, pulling. There we go. Came out fairly easily. I didn't break any clips or anything. There's a four of these pins here. goes in is there's these two kind of pins here and then this grabs on the here right? and then you should be able to have access to that all right okay okay we're gonna remove this light right here yep. okay I just pry it in from here and it gets popped out what you want to do is disconnect the light right here okay. and then now begins the fun okay part. so what you're gonna want to do is open up these two kind of conduits here all right Let's see if I can do it with one hand okay they're like kind of grommets okay Alright, and then so now that uh, extension wire is going to go from here down to here. Alright. And uh, so I'm going to try and fish that sucker through there and I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> Alright, here's what we got. Okay, so here's the, this is the extension wire. Okay, so this is the one that plugs into the light, I believe, yes. And then this is the one that you got to fish through the air, all the holes and stuff. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, so um, what I've done is I've fished it into here, all right, and I moved it that way, and then it came out here, all right. I had to. I, I'm not gonna lie. Since they separated the wires like this, you gotta fish each wire out, all right. It's not too hard. Uh, if you got some fat fingers, it's probably gonna be kind of hard to get it through the hole. So I'll say, all right, but I got it. Okay, right there. All right. So this has got to go over there. So now we got to fish the rest of this 
down over there. Okay. I think once you get it over here, that's the that's the uh, hard part, and you just run it along here. Okay. All right. Well, best of luck. By the way, that took me maybe like five minutes. All right, it wasn't too hard. Let's okay. Let's go do this other section here. This one will probably. Yeah, I apologize be for the wind noise, but here's what I've done. All right, so like I said, I opened all these up and I fished it down there, and I was like, "Where is it? I wonder where it's going." You know, and so it was getting caught and going that way. So what I did was, I pulled some of the weather stripping here. All right, let's see. Put that back later, and then I there's a clip here. All right. I use one of these trim remover tools to pop it out. I actually kind of pry it open a little bit, all right? But that's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to pry it open, all right? And there it is. It just comes out from right over there, all right? Um, I think you're gonna want it in front of the clip hole, though. So make sure that when you run it. And so I pulled it out, and I just pulled out here. And then I'm gonna try to guide it over there, all right? I think this way is a lot easier. I think in the video that I watched, what they did is they fished a, a USB wire going down there, all right, and then they they did the opposite. They came from up here, all right. So I'm going, I'm doing the opposite. I'm going down, all right, instead of going up. They taped it to the fishing wire and then they pulled it through, all right. That that could work too, all right, but I think this is better. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. There's like a freaking storm coming, so it's kind of windy. So here's what I did. So like I said, like I mentioned, I popped this out. And then I pulled the headliner down a little bit, and so uh, and then I started fishing it in, and I was like, man, I can't, I don't know, man. <laughs> so that's where I've got it. All right, see, there's a little little sponge thing there to give it some thing. Also, be careful with the headliner; it's pretty fragile. Um, there it is. Okay. You can see the wire going down there. And then uh, later, we definitely want to have this one coming out more that way, okay? And also, I made sure to measure how much we need out here, so, okay, and then I it popped out here, so, um, what I had to do was pull this panel out also, all right? If you pull this panel out, you can, you can get in there, all right? I apologize for the wind noise, guys. Like, it's, the trees are, like, doing something. what's going on in there, right? See that? See this wire right here? This is the one right here. I'm gonna pull that. So just kind of guide it down there. Uh, what I did is there's a there's a clip right here and then I think there's a clip back here or something. Yeah there's a something that pops out over here. Alright I just pulled it out and then this one kind of popped out so I'm gonna have to put that one back in. Alright or maybe not I don't know just leave it like this who knows <laughs> okay but yeah I got it out over here so when you get over here what you're gonna want to do is plug this one into the harness all right okay so what you're gonna want to do is plug in the, the harness for the light to the for your new lights put that back in there okay so now uh, now that we got the wire fished down there we're just gonna um, put we're gonna put all the panels back and everything okay Pain in the ass. and then we're pretty much done with this part all right what a pain in the booty guys <laughs> so uh, I had to use the trim popper tool uh, I will put a link in the description where you can get one of these I've used it twice already all right guys uh, once to pop this guy out all right and then once to pop this guy out this is the one that got stuck behind pulled it out it fell out and I had to go fish it out with this with the, my with my claw tool here okay <laughs> I don't use it very often okay uh, I'm gonna go pop that back into the panel here without losing it hopefully okay I lost it again and it fell down into the battery compartment so yeah if it falls down there just open this up all right and then pull pull this the cover for your battery out and then uh, and it was just on top of the like behind the battery pretty much all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put this uh panel back in finally okay do one right here somewhere that gets loose all right i'm gonna okay. put the clip that holds the trim in back all right and that's it 
pocket and then now now now's the fun part we gotta we gotta fish this the rest of the way <laughs> okay so i realized like i have these exposed wires right now if you touch them together it might blow a fuse or something so don't plug it in yet all right so i'm gonna plug it in all right and then we're gonna go try to fish the rest of this all right so where i'm gonna try to fish it is there, there's a hole in here yeah there's see that see that hole right back there see that hole over there right here i'm gonna try to fish it through there through here and through here pop this one out all right this one is bigger than this one so definitely want the bigger one all right okay what a pain in the booty all right so i have to start fishing it in through here and then i got it to the black part and then once you get to the black part it gets kind of easier because it's stiffer and yeah you have to get like uh, i don't know man you got to get most of it in there and so what i did is i inverted the uh the grommet here all right and then and you peel this back you can see the wire in there. I see a red wire, right? So see, that's one of our wires. So we, I gotta try to find out how, where that's going and try not to damage the pin also. All right, so what it's doing, I think it's curling up around the wire. It's, it's like spiraling around it. So that's not good. We want it to come out straight, all right? So I'm gonna try to very carefully get it out of there, all right? Um, and then I know the hardest part is this bend here after that. All right, hallelujah, there we go. I got it. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, it was trying to go do this number, turn around. So I pulled it out. All right, so, okay. I wanna try to get find the other wire. I don't know where it is. Man, it's like having to do surgery through somebody's butthole, all right? So, so, so like, uh, yeah, so I like, I've inverted it as much as I could. And so the wire, I was looking for like a black wire. I was like, and it's actually a white wire. So here, it's right here. I pulled it out with the pliers very carefully. Hopefully it comes out okay. So. Uh, it's pretty obvious which wire it is because it looks kind of different than the other ones. All right. I don't know. I can't see the head of it, though. All right. I'll let you know what goes on. Ah, magic. There it is. I got it out, guys. <laughs> Dude, it was so hard to get those wires out. Now we got to get the rest of it through. So well, I think the, the rest should be easy now, right? Um, and I didn't damage the wire. I, I didn't damage the pins. So I think that's good. Uh, in that video I watched, they damaged the pins. So, so they did the terminate it with different connector um so uh yeah so i got it through all right and so what it was trying to do is they were trying to they were trying to do like a u-turn right type of thing so i had to like really pull this back and then open it up a whole lot and look in there and i was like oh look that looks like the wire so and then you have to figure out which one is the head and which one is the tail you know and uh and then yeah and then you can pull i pulled very carefully with some pliers so i i, re I tried to be as careful as possible because you don't want to break these pins like is you're almost like i'm not gonna lie you're almost like guaranteed to break these pins <laughs> okay all right let's see let me go get the rest of it through there and button this up okay there it is i got it through so you gotta kind of do this kind of caterpillar thing or a chinese finger trap thing where you kind of pull up on here and then it should and then pull this back a little bit eventually you'll get to this thing but even though it's it's even though you can get to this it's still hard to get it through here so yeah until you can get a good amount out then you can start pulling it through all right so i think we got enough um let's go close this up because it's starting to rain <laughs> all right And, and remember, you can't close the hatch until you get this squared away, right? All right, and then I'm gonna try to feed this up to this opening, this rectangular opening. Okay, I right think here. before, uh, let, let's uh, put this cl clip on, all right? So make sure this is the right direction. Uh, I would put it in there first. It goes like this, okay? So that means the, uh, from, okay, so from the way, this, so the way you're looking at it right now, all right, it's gonna plug in like that. Just match it up to the wire on the other side. So the red one will be on the right here, okay? So we wanna put the red wire right here, okay? Or, yeah, you could just plug, you could just probably just plug this in and then uh, stick it in over there. But... Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so the red one, the, from where, from, now now I have an opposite, right? The red is on the left. So just make sure you use this as a guide, all right? When you put the pins in, 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. So the way it goes in is uh, the open part goes, the open part goes towards this little flap here that you're gonna put down. All right, so, and then just double check before you put it in there because it's gonna, it's gonna clip into place that you're doing into the right one, all right? All right, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'm gonna go push it in. Okay, and it should lock into place. Now I'm gonna push the other one in. Okay. It only goes one way, guys, so it's not going in, and you got it the wrong way. Okay, it's snapped into place, and then we're gonna go. I think you gotta close this right here. All right, there you go. Okay, the wire is prepared. Now we can run it through the hole, and I try to get this done before it stops, uh, before the rain gets hella crazy. <laughs> All right. Got it through, and then I was gonna close the grommet up. Okay, ah, I can close my hatch now. <laughs> this is good. All right, and here's the wire right here. Okay, so this wire is basically a splitter, is what it is. All right, you're gonna plug it into that, and then you're gonna you're gonna route the wires along here. All right. Um, this one is pretty easy. There's a wire harness right here, so you can just zip tie it to the wire harness and then make sure it comes out like right here, all right? Okay, yeah, so it's... Okay, the rest is pretty simple. You're gonna plug the wire in here and then you're gonna route the wiring along here, along the sides, underneath the, the trim, all right? And then you're gonna put it underneath here and it should pop out this square hole, all right? Uh, this one is pretty easy because there's a wiring harness here already. The other one doesn't have one, so I don't know. I'm just going to have to tape it or something. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there's really nothing. It's just going to be underneath the, the thingy. That's what I would do. I would just use tape or something. Well, that's okay. Maybe you don't even need to use tape. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run that, and then, uh, then we'll be pretty much done. Okay, so here we go. So you gotta kinda have to play this balancing act between trying to get the wires through uh, this this hole and this hole. And so what I did is, like I said, I just put zip ties around this one. That one was easy there. Um, so I put a zip tie in this hole right here and there's another hole to get to this screw here. And then I, I was able to get a zip tie in here through this the little panel here, right? The, the sheet metal. All right, and then so what I did is I zip tied it here so it doesn't fall out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, the trim pieces back in. All right, let's go. Okay, I got the trim pieces back on. And uh, let's go install the lights. The last thing to do is install the lights. Okay, before we install the lights, let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay, and then we'll plug it into the light right here. Okay, make sure the light still works. Oh, no. Okay, the light doesn't work right now because the wrap port has been off for a while. I right, have to get in and turn it on. Um, it's okay, let's go hook the lights up. Grab one of these bad boys. I believe it goes like this, yeah. So we're gonna plug it in here. Alright, just make sure the, the the colors line up. Alright, and then you'll know you're plugging it in right. But it won't let you plug it in the wrong way, right? So push it in this way, press it in. Alright. Install the other one. a zip tie on it so I want to lose it. I gotta cut the zip tie now. Okay. And then uh, get it up in there. Yes. Alright. And then uh yeah 
them. So let's go uh, fire up the car and try it out. Okay, there you go. I just, uh, I opened the door and then the rev more came to life. <laughs> there it is. All right, so you just press it and it turns off. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know what kind of switch that is. It's like a, can you accidentally touch it with something? No, it has, it has to be a, a, a human being has to touch it. This works though. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I don't know how it senses that somebody is there, but there it is. All right. Um, I'm what I'm worried about is that you inadvertently press it while you're inside the car or something, or some you have some kind of cargo that presses on it and it turns on. I don't think they draw a whole lot of power though. Okay, but there it is. Pretty cool. All right, and you can turn them on different times. All right. <laughs> Pretty cool. They're independent. All right. Awesome. All right, and then the last thing to do is put the uh, light back in. Keep this in here. So if those don't work, remember there's a fuse right here. All right. There we go and we're done all right so okay and there you got it uh that's uh i just installed the uh trunk the trunk lid leds all right for a, my 2021 toyota rav4 prime i'm pretty sure you can do this with the other rav4s all right um but this one is a rav4 prime se all right um, any pretty much 2019 and a uh, rav4 prime uh, rav4 and uh, so the hardest part was uh, was fishing the wire through. All right, uh, I had to spend about at least a good more than an hour fishing wires through stuff. All right, and, and that's the reason why I didn't want to do this in the first place. <laughs> but uh, but I got it done. All right. So the hardest part is trying to get the 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 pins through this guy. All right, without breaking it. Might I add, um, because there's a really sharp bend here. All right. Um, and all I can say is just take your time, feed it in there, and then try to try to feel in there, and then pull it, kind of like a like one of those Chinese finger trap thingies, all right? And then turn it, it invert it, turn it inside out, and then like kind of poke in there, and then you'll see the wire, all right? You'll 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 be able to differentiate the wire from the other wires in the harness because uh, it, it looks different, all right? You'll know. <laughs> And so mine wanted to do these, they wanted to go turn backwards, all right? So, um, and then I had to use a uh, one of these guys, all right? Needle nose pliers to fish it out, all right? That was the hardest part. The next hardest part was to um, take apart all the trim, all right? I, um, I did it different than the other video that I watched, all right? Um, I disassembled all the trim here, going to here. I, I didn't take it all, I didn't take it out. I just kind of took certain sections of it out. And then, and then I was able to get it down in there. Okay, so I don't know how they did that, but but I took some of these panels out um, just a little bit. All right, I just peeled it back a little bit. Be careful with the headliner. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have to put the uh, the weather stripping back in. I think it's fine. I oh I almost I almost forgot about that. I peeled the weather stripping off to get the headliner out. All right. Now if it leaks back there, I'll know I'll know why. Because <laughs> I touched it. All right. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, that's forty dollars from uh, Car Trim Home. I'll have a link in the description where you can get these lights. Um, maybe yeah, uh, I I will add a clip at the end of this uh, at the end of the video um, showing how bright the lights are when when it's dark out. All right, it's not quite dark out yet, just to give you an idea how bright it is. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hey, swing out. Uh, also, after you're done with the install, you'll still have the old panels back in, so I don't know, just put them someplace, just in case you ever need to put them back, alright?